Alright, how do you get in here? Okay. I guess this is the first the first deck. Uh oh. Got a couple cars over there. Look at that guys. These guys did a amazing job. So I assume the way to get up to the second deck is no, that's the way out. So we're gonna need some signs up here to say exit, man. Okay, this first row. Yes, exit. They put exit right at the exit. Am I doing right? See, guys. Okay, this not like it's not an area customers would be riding, so it may not be necessary. Oh, I thought that was the way up. Well, what is that for? Nothing. It's a wall right there. All right, let's go see if we can get to the second and third row. It's obviously this way. So hypothetically, if cars was right here, I would be in the center, in the center area. So let's go to row number two. Hey. All right, we're at deck number two. I want to go all the way up top. Hey, look at the brand new, whoa! Well, we ain't got to worry about theft much anymore, do we? Man, guys, I remember when they was building this, laying the concrete down. Look at all the Jeeps. And those beautiful baby Jeeps right here. This must be the baby Jeep area. So, guys, any color you want, you can just come out here and shop till you drop. No more waiting two, three weeks to get your car delivered. Carvana what? Now we don't need Carvana. We got Carvana right here, guys. Y'all want a car? Come to Gwinnett. Okay, Gwinnett in uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Hey, they still got the Cherokee. That's one I got. I got one of those, guys. I bought my new 20, it's a 2017 model. The Latitude. Yes, all the kinks are out of the Latitude, guys. So none of them horror stories you used to hearing about, uh, about uh uh, that's the Wrangler section. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's go. I guess this is the. Uh, ooh, yeah, we going to the top, baby. Let's go up top and see what's popping up here. This is the ones that are exposed to the sun. So I guess they just put all trucks up here. How do a guy get down that walk? Yeah, these are mostly 1500s. Oh, another little spot for Jeeps. Oh, those are uh, renegades. Okay, I'm at the very top. What's going on up here? Okay, we got mostly trucks up here. Oh, so I guess you can do that entry right there. Hey, minivans. Where are you Pacifica lovers at? Oh, they still doing the journeys? Okay, I think the journey's supposed to be gone in 2020, this year. Yes, look at those journeys, guys. And I'm sure... We working on 2021. I think the journey and the caravan are gone. There are no more. If I'm not mistaken, Tom. <laughs> I think I'm right. I think the caravan is gone because they want that Pacifica. They want some big numbers out of the Pacifica. All right, uh, four by fours. Is these 1500 or 25? I'm not good like that. Some of you guys are really. Y'all can look at a body and tell exactly what it is. What they doing up here? Look, he taking picture. Oh, y'all see that uh, step rail? That's the one with the automatic. Look at that. Y'all see that? It just went up on its own. And it's got the split. Some of them got the split uh, the split tailgate. That one ain't got it. Do not have it, I mean. All right, let's go back to row number two. Obviously, this is going to be the truck row. Up here with the sun. I hope the sun don't damage the paint. Perforation, guys. Chrysler usually give you a hundred... A hundred, uh, matter of fact, let me get out for a second. They usually give you a hundred thousand mile perforation warranty on your paint. Look, still doing work to the, to the place. I'm going to show y'all a picture of uh, how it's supposed to look when they're done. So, it's still going to be some new cars in this area, guys. Don't, 
Don't get it twisted. We need those visible to the general public. You know, the ones that's driving by, you see the street. Those cars need to be visible. So I'm sure they're going to leave the, the high the high selling, top selling vehicles down there. Y'all see the Challengers and the 300s and the Chargers. They likely will stay. But once it's all clean up, it's still kind of nasty looking. Get that bulldoze out of here and all that dirt and all that clean up. Yes, it's going to be top notch dealership, guys. Uh, looking forward to it. I, it's a soft spot in my heart, but you know, because I've been at this building location, I don't know, maybe 20 years. So I got a chance to see the changes. All right. But uh, I think that's the plan. The Chargers and the Challengers staying here. So let's head back down to the second, then the first row. All right. Let's get it, guys. All right, we're out of the deck. So I assume this is where all the repair vehicles are going to be parked. Okay, uh, guys, that may seem like a lot, but because we pretty much zone out, or this is like the closest competitor, Chrysler dealer is, uh, I don't know, quite a bit of way, a ways away. So everybody's pretty much left to come here. Yes, there I go, my buddy Charger. He is wrapping it up, guys. Let's go over here, guys. Let's see take a look at uh what will likely stay like i said when i was on the parking deck i'm almost certain those uh challengers and chargers the top sellers will remain put will remain right here guys because we need those visible highly visible when you drive by down the street you can see who that he parking one now look at that <laughs> Ah, those are so good looking. I didn't get to make it to the car show. The car show next week, so I'm going to try to go in. But Yes. Got to make the... Oh, I think I can go this way. Let's see what's on this other road. Uh-oh. Is that a Pro Master? Must be a used one because I don't think we... Yeah, another row of uh, Challengers and Chargers. Pro Master. 15 yeah brand new journey so they still out in 2020 but i heard they winding down guys all right guys so that's a nice little baby tour of the place like i say we we striving to be the top notch the best chrysler jeep dodge ram dealer on this side of the country we already got the service department on lot I suspect we have the best service team out there, okay? The best qualified technicians out there, the best. Uh, now, likely I should say something like that, but I literally believe this, guys. Uh, there was a once upon a time where the shop only had like maybe one or two good techs. <laughs> Naturally, I'm going to say me and somebody else, but uh, now we got a, quite a few, you know, so there's not even a lot of pressure on. So, hey, is that a Chevrolet? What the world? And they got it right beside a rim. Y'all see that? So if you came up here to buy a used car and you saw that rim sitting beside this Chevy and you was in the market for this size truck, which would you get? All right. I don't want to entertain that question because I sure hope you would get the Dodge Ram. But to each his own. Rubicons. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm having way too much fun. That's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.